What up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Gen Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me as always is Mr. Brian Schultz. Finally, it has been uh, unveiled to us the first pieces of artwork for Nemo. Um, Brian, I'd have to say when I first saw the artwork for Namor, and this is a character that's supposed to be showing up in Black Panther, if you didn't know, we've been, we've spoken about this for quite some time. We've said, yo, Brian, I've been talking about this for a long time. And I said, I remember saying, and I had this conversation with Tracy a while back. I said, and, and I think we both agreed that in order for Black Panther 2 to be dope, you gotta bring in name one or you have to have something more i think not only we were right um but also that's something more and brian i'll touch on that a little bit later uh of the possibilities of this character showing up or making his grand entrance um but we got our first um uh, look at what Namor will look like and some of the characters and what they'll look like, Brian. The artwork doesn't, it looks like somebody, it doesn't, it doesn't look impressive. It looks, it looks like a toy. <laughs> it doesn't, it, it looks like the cover of a toy. You know, it doesn't look, I think this is an actual leak of what, you know, I wasn't like totally excited about it. I'm more excited about the idea of how they're introducing this character and changing some of the origin. I'm more excited about seeing that. Um, but the actual leak of the pictures that we saw there, some of it is concept art. I, I, I don't think that that is, uh, what's the guy's name that's playing Namor? Well, I was gonna say, if that's Kenneth Huerta's actual physique, congrats to him. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what are these? What are they feeding these guys? <laughs> Here's the MCU formula for real. Um, so, hey, what were your thoughts, Brian, when you saw this? Were you excited, or were you more like me, excited about? the the ideas that they're going to be playing with uh, the character of Namor in terms of his origin and where he comes from and stuff. Yeah, well, I guess the first thing that struck me was that was a pretty comics accurate picture because Namor is not really like a heavily costumed character in a lot of cases. He doesn't wear a lot of yeah. armor, right? He really does show a lot of skin, quite honestly. And and uh, the, the ears looked about right. That's kind of how like, he does have kind of that almost Vulcan, um, almost goblin look a little bit. Um, so I was actually surprised at how comics accurate they kept it. I would have actually thought they would have put more clothes on the character than they did. So I'm curious yeah. to see if that's true. But I, but I, I, I kind of agree with your sort of, you know, for, you know, pun intended, fish out of water appearance because you can't really evaluate the character without the the scenery without the context right this is yeah, yeah. this is as much about the world of atlantis as it is about namor at the head of it and so yeah. to see like okay i see this snapshot great that looks like the character from the comics but like it's like it's incomplete it's like great yeah. but i will say this the, the the little bits we've gotten about the direction this movie is taking i finally kind of read the thing that like got my attention, which was that this might be a war movie at its core, that this might be a total tonal shift and, and a way to solve and get past the huge void of Chadwick Boseman in yeah. this film is to make it about like almost like a like a like a, a battle of cultures between the world of Wakanda and the world of Atlantis. And that has me interested because yeah. that gives you the room for, for Ryan Kluger to spend a lot of time in Atlantis, letting us see his vision of that, letting us get inside the character of Namor and thereby creating stakes for whatever conflict is gonna set 
you know, just like in the comics, is going to set Atlantis against Wakanda. And listen, the idea of Ryan Coogler giving us some kind of like saving Private Ryan beach battle between the Wakandan forces and the Atlantean forces, sign me up. Like that, yeah. that you, you know, that will get my money because that's a very different movie, but could definitely work with your existing characters and and give Tenac Puerta a way to almost be the main character, right? Because this is a movie without its main character. So maybe he's going to be yeah. The, yeah. the actual main character. Because he's going to get his own franchise out of this, right? So maybe Hell that's yeah. what they're doing. Yeah, a lot of things can come out of this movie, Brian. One of the things that I'm most excited about hearing if, if it's possible that he is um, uh, referred to as a mutant, because remember, he is the, he first. Is the first. Yeah, right? so it'll be interesting if we hear that coming out of someone's mouth or referring to him in that way um the other thing that we we know brian that uh namor is not a true villain he he's been known to do questionable things but all for the purposes of you know making sure that atlantis or wherever he comes from in this movie is kept safe um but the true villain perhaps brian and I'm alluding to a character that has that's had history with both Namor and Black Panther. I think this may be the beginning or the introduction to uh, Doom. Um, what are your thoughts on that possibility? And and if we do get Doom, will that be a revelation left towards a poor cut poor cut scene? It would seem to be more for that. Um, just because, like I said, I, I I think if you're gonna have Victor Von Doom actually be in your movie, he 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 sucks up a lot of the airtime. Uh, I think if you're gonna do it right, yeah. So I think it's almost better to have him be in the cutscene as like maybe he's the hand behind, you know, the invisible hand, the man behind the curtain throughout the movie. Maybe there's some things that don't make sense, and then you use that cutscene to tie it together. I guess my concern is if you bring him in full force in this movie, does that crowd out Namor? I really want to spend a lot of time on, you know, I kind of want Namor to get at least the airtime that T'Challa got in Captain America's Civil War, where like you feel like that character had room to breathe and was a major player in the movie. And I don't want that squashed by another oh, amazing no, of course. character. You know, so that's why I think you're almost asking too much, but I agree with you that the Namor introduction and Atlantis versus Wakanda, like, I don't see how you can avoid connecting it to mutation or connecting it to doom somewhere. I just don't know if it's in this movie or not. Um, and I'm kind of maybe hoping it's, it's, it's a little de-emphasized, but I agree with you. It wouldn't shock me if there's, if he's not in the movie, some Easter egg somewhere there that makes clear that he's, his fingerprints are in, in the con. Brian, I'd be happy with a similar uh, execution, similar to Thanos at the end of Avengers. He doesn't have to be cast. All we all we need to know is that that's due. That's it. I'll be happy with that. But let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah, let us know in the comment section what you guys think about the Namor artwork. Uh, did it excite you? Do, you? do you think there's a lot more that they need to show in order for, the, for you guys to get excited about the character? I'm excited about the character. I'm excited to see what the character is going to actually look like and, 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 and speak. And, and is that Aaron that's going to be there? All those things that make Submariner uh, the, the character that he is. I want to see if uh, 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 the, this, this actor... Who I, I, the first time I saw him was in Narcos on Netflix. Yes, Narcos. Yeah. Um, he was fantastic in that. So, and we had said a long time ago that Brian, that Namor has to be some, doesn't, he need not look like anyone we've seen before. And certainly this actor, I think, uh, is going to look very different. And I'm excited to see that. So let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of the Namor uh, leaks that we've seen thus far. I'm also fascinated to see Ryan Coogler's underwater world. I mean, I think this is, as we talked about, for whatever reason, 2022 is a year of, you know, there's a lot of water. Um, yeah. You're going to see, we know, we know we're going to go back to sort of uh, Pandora and spend a lot of time there with James Cameron and Avatar. We kind of know what James Wan's take on Atlantis looked like. Um, and so I'm expecting something very different. But I think, you know, Kugler obviously gave us 
some rich colors and textures for Wakanda in Black Panther 1. I'd be shocked if we don't get a very thoughtful, layered underwater civilization where you can really get with what Namor's trying to do. Yeah. I, I, I have high hopes that like when these when these sides go to war, you're not firmly just in the Wakanda camp because like that you're yeah. actually like, hmm, like you're thinking about who's actually in the right and who's in the wrong as to what they're what they're fighting about. Um, so I'm I have very high hopes for that uh, based on the first one. And I do think like this, the scale and if he does kind of pivot the tone in that direction, I mean that I think this we've talked about the billion dollar. I mean, I think this one's a lock just because of the situation and oh, my gosh, last one, but if they want to raise the bar and kind of stamp something distinct. I, I now have some like tangible like hope and vision for how that can be achieved. Um, one last thing before we sign off. Um, one of the things that I hit uh, and many people did uh, notice um, with regards to Black Panther was the CGI work uh, wasn't that great, mm -hmm. especially towards the end. Yeah. Um, this movie is going to be very CGI heavy, especially if they're going to Atlanta. So that's something that I'm going to be looking out for, Brian. Yep, I agree. I agree. All right. So, um, yeah, let us know in the comments below what you guys think. And we'll see you next time on Nerd Gen Report. What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode.